Let's take a look at an example in the editor. In our example, we are asked to draw a square where the coordinate location of each corner is labeled. We'll start by moving to the bottom left corner of the square, and we don't want to leave a trail as we head there. So we'll write pen up and go to negative 100, negative 100. We also want our square to have thicker sides. So let's make the pen size three and then put our pen down. Let's use a simple loop to draw our square. So we'll write for i in range four and have Tracy move forward 200 for each side of the square and then left 90. Let's see how that looks. Great. Now we're set to add our corner labels. Tracy has ended at the bottom left corner, which is at point negative 100, negative 100. So let's just add a label here using the right command, right, negative 100, negative 100, and we want those in parentheses. And let's see how that looks. That doesn't look too great. So let's first change the size. To do that, we'll add the font attribute and we'll set the type to Arial and let's choose a size of 12. Let's see how that looks now. Now the size looks better, but we want the label directly under the corner. So let's use the align attribute and set it to center. We're almost there. We just want the text to be a little lower, so let's move Tracy down a bit before calling the right command. We don't want a trail here, so first let's write pen up and maybe move her down 20 pixels. So we can use go to negative 100, negative 120. Now that looks perfect. It's important to notice that Tracy is adding the label right above her placement, which is why we needed to move her below the actual coordinate location of negative 100, negative 100 before adding this label. I'm going to stop here and have you explore the locations of the other labels by taking a look at the example item on your own. Now it's your turn to explore the example and use this command in some Tracy programs of your own.